move is gonna start off a series that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So I started using this technique that I'm gonna show you back last year, probably at the time of filming this, about eight months ago. And I started using it and it started working really well and I found out a lot of little tricks to make it work along the way. So I figured what I would do is share you, with you guys what I'm working on right now and what I've been working on and hopefully it'll be useful to you. Um, this submission is from Side Control, it's really useful. A lot of people I find don't use it and because they don't use it in their gyms very often, people don't feel it coming. And so hopefully this is useful to you to catch some submissions inside your gym. Adam's back, he was away for a little bit, but he's back. So, as always, my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. I showed this move earlier last year uh, in no gi, but there's a few details that I want to show in the gi and a few more details that I've learned along the way. And so I'm gonna show you the move, what it looks like, and then we're gonna break it down together. So here's what it looks like. So let's break that down. So we're gonna begin in side control. So we're starting in side control here, right? Normal position. I'm gonna unlace the head, put the elbow next to the neck. This hand is gonna block the hip. Because again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk towards north-south, so I'm gonna block this hip to make sure he doesn't trail me. From here, I'm gonna wipe my hand or my hip across his face, and a lot of times this arm over here will pop out. I'll give you a better angle in just a second. From here, I'm gonna get a grip. Now, Check this out. This is something that's super important. You wanna make sure that you learn how to hide your grips. So when I first started doing the move, I was grabbing the tricep, okay? People didn't really respect that I was able to get the submission. They started to catch on to that. So I started to change my grip. So what I started doing is I'll grab up here on the shoulder, right here, gi or no gi. And in the gi, one of my students actually showed me a grip here where I grab the collar. And so again, this does not feel like an arm bar, okay? This doesn't really feel like an arm bar. So they don't really, it, it just doesn't send off the same red flags. Whereas if I grab here, that feels like an arm bar. And again, this move's a little sneaky in the first place because it doesn't attack the arm in the typical way. Like most arm bars from side control will start to grab the back of the arm. But the reality is, is if I grab like this, they feel, they pull back. So when we're grabbing this, this arm here, guys, something to try is getting your hand snug up under the shoulder, okay? Now, from here at this point, once I'm in this position, I'm gonna to begin to attack the neck. And this sort of brings me to another sort of strategy that I try to employ. Anytime that I'm attacking the arm or the neck, I like to have a submission for the other to throw them off. So for instance, if I'm attacking an arm, I like to have a neck submission to throw into it to sort of throw them off my trail. And it has to be a legit threat. And likewise, if I'm trying to attack the neck, I like to have an arm submission I can throw into the mix. From here, I can grab the collar and really begin a legit paper cutter, um, you know, a paper, a bread slice or whatever submission you want to call it, um, a, a submission here. And again, it can work if he's not defending it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to attack and put some pressure on the neck. A lot of times his hand comes up to defend. Once this happens, I'm going to lean in and throw my leg that's closest to his leg. I want to get it flush right against, we'll raise up just a little bit here. I want to get this flush right against his body. And if you can get this under a little bit, this is okay, but I just want to have it right across the, the shoulder and the, uh, the back here. So I'm going here, attacking the paper cutter. He begins to defend. I'm going to throw it in. And at the same time, I'm leaning my shoulder onto his body so it keeps him pressed down. Throw the leg in and then swipe the foot, sit back and then we go for the finish. Now, let's talk about this finish. It's a little different than a traditional arm bar. When I get here, I'm not doing this, okay? He feels it a little bit. I'm pinching my knees like a normal arm bar. I'm gonna pinch my elbow really tight. Here's the difference. My body, I do a side, I'm gonna do it on this side so I don't hurt his arm. I'm gonna do like a, an oblique flex or oblique crunch, just right there. My hand is holding right above his elbow, so I'm cupping it so this way I can c control the direction of his arm. If I don't do this, his arm can like wiggle around just like a regular arm bar. We wanna control where that thumb's at, right? So from here, pinch. And again, what I'm talking about by the thumb is just like a regular arm bar, I wanna know where that thumb is because depending on where the thumb is, I go opposite to the thumb, right? If for some reason if his thumb was facing this way, I would make it go this way. This way, this way, same thing. Instead of controlling the wrist like a regular arm bar, I'm controlling right above the elbow. Right now, his thumb is facing this way, so I would almost like sideways crunch into it. Get it? Let's take a look at it from another couple of angles to help you guys out. Here, we're in side control, unlacing the head. We're gonna block that hip, because if I don't block that hip and I try to walk around, we'll start doing this. 
So it's blocking it to keep him where he's at. I walk, 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 and drop. Cup the shoulder. Walk back to position. From here, thumb in, attack the neck. When he starts to go for the defense, I'm gonna lean into him, throw the shin around, flush with his body, swipe the leg, and then we sit back. And again, as I'm sitting back, that hand is going from the shoulder to the back of the tricep and right at the elbow. And then we finish. Boom, one more time. Try that arm bar out. Hopefully you'll get a few submissions with it. And then next week, I'm gonna show you guys a continuation from this move and we'll get into sort of an idea of how to find the submissions in unpredictable ways. And I'll kind of show you how I do it and how I make this thing happen. But again, try this out, use it, see how it works for you. And then I'll see you guys next week with a really nifty setup from back mount. And uh, yeah, so I'm finished. Adam? Adam. <laughs>